millions of Americans struggle to quit smoking. We hear a lot about the damage that it can do to your lungs, but we also need to talk about how you start feeling better once you stop smoking. Beth Murray is an occupational therapist as well as a certified Quit Smart facilitator with Cone Health's Outpatient Rehab Center in Reedsville. Good morning to you. Good morning. So it, people realize there's a great goal out there. Stop smoking, you are gonna feel better. It's the process of getting there that's so tough. Right, it's so true. Um, I wanna talk a little bit today about lung cancer mm -hmm. and um, how that happens. Um, when you smoke, you inhale cigarette smoke and the tar and chemicals sit on your lungs and they're not able to clean themselves. Yeah. And those chemicals actually penetrate our lung cells. The DNA changes and that's what causes cancer. Okay, so when people experience that and go through it, we're looking at that, the, the healthy versus you know, we can see that there. When you show that to somebody, does that help change their perspective on things? It does. I think that picture really speaks a million words. And another sure. thing I actually brought with me to talk about today are the chemicals that mm -hmm. are in the cigarettes. So there's actually 7,000 chemicals oh my goodness. in cigarettes. Yeah. Um, and 50 of those are carcinogens, which are cancer-causing additives. Mm -hmm. um, We're looking at some of them yes, right here. Some These the are some ones. of the ones that you're talking yes. about there. And, and, and we recognize a lot of you know, acetone, ammonia, as, as a cyanide being some things that we recognize. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a, a, a physicist or something like, or you know, anybody or a chemist to be able to identify those there. Right. So, unfortunately, um, if that's not you know, if that promotes you and wants you to want to quit smoking, then uh, it's never too late to quit. So, mm -hmm. within 20 minutes of smoking your last cigarette, you'll have your body starts to have positive changes. So, your heart rate will decrease. Um, within a month, your um, the your heart rate decreases and your lung function improves. After a few months, your coughing and shortness of, shortness of breath subsides and give it several years, your risk of lung cancer is half that of a smoker. And, and people hear that, but still it is a difficult thing. And because for some people it is a, a physical need, for others it's kind of a, a time of day thing, you know, where there's a, a, a constant need to have something in their hands. So I, I guess, Getting people to stop, it's kind of an individualized thing, isn't it? It is, and at Cone Health, we want to be right there with our patients and help them mm -hmm. quit smoking. So we offer a free um, program to the community. It's called Quit Smart, and it's a four-week program, and we call it, instead of a cold turkey program, it's more of a warm chicken approach. So we help the patients over a It sounds a lot easier yes, when you say it that it way. Does. Yeah. So over two weeks, we help them wean off cigarettes. Mm -hmm. um, and then on their quit date, we give them a whole toolbox, if you will, of strategies that will help them with coping to quit smoking. So we help them fight the emotional dependency on cigarettes, um, the addiction, and then the dependency. Um, and we want to be right there with them. We give them emotional support as well as the, t the teammates that are in that group with them. And I gather that you've got to get the people around them too, because yes. maybe there's somebody else in the house who still smokes that's going to be a temptation too. It is. So what we do the first day we meet with them is we ask them to think about a few people in their life, maybe a family member, or a coworker, or a good friend that can be their support person. We actually send that person a letter and ask them to kind of read through what their responsibilities would be yeah. and have them sign that and send that back so that, you know, they do have that connection, someone that's always in their corner. They're on board them. too. Yes. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. you coming in and you can find some tools and the things that you need to quit smoking. Cone Health, as she said, offers that four class smoking cessation program. Open to anybody 18 or older. Find the meeting times and locations by going to conehealth.com slash smoke free. And for more information on health problems affecting your ability to breathe, go to conehealth.com slash lungs. House Call on Fox 8 is sponsored by Cone Health.